Hi everyone, this is Aegis, and here is the third fourth place match of the JHU IAC KSA StarCraft 2 tournament. This here is Zeri, the pink Protoss player, and his opponent is me for the win. These two players are battling it out for a third for a third place. Uh, the loser obviously will be taking a fourth place. I believe it is a best of five. We'll see who is able to take down these games. Uh, I was unable to cast these on the day of because I left a little bit early because I had a bunch of exams to study for. But here it is. This is the uh, JHU tournament once again. Of course, we always started on Zelnaga Caverns in nearly every single one of the games. So I sort of tagged on a little bit and said uh, it was also the Zelnaga Caverns tournament. Uh, of course, I am casting by myself. Uh, see me for the win here is a Masters League player and Zeri I believe is also a Masters League player I don't know their points uh, was unable to check on that before this game but I am excited to bring you these games I heard they were more or much more epic than the actual grand finals so uh, we'll see what's up in these games of course a PVT on uh, Zalnaga Caverns many players are very well familiar with this map so it could last quite a bit as both players go for some uh, of a macro game. Here's the first gateway at 14 food, so uh, Zeri is definitely chrono boosting out a lot of probes. Actually, no, I take that back. It's because he spent some money on this assimilator. He does want to block off some paths for me for the win to take. And of course, he's going to be throwing down these two barracks near his command center. This will help him defend against any early Zella attacks. And it'll also allow to, allow him to get up some early marines, maybe put on some pressure himself, or help him to take an expansion. Back in Zeri's base, we see the gateway finishing up. We also have the gas starting to get mined. A uh, couple of gas out of that right now. We'll see when he throws down his cybernetics core. Should be real soon. And uh, there it goes, the cybernetics core going down. Me for the win, not getting the gas yet, he's finishing up his second barracks. Uh, the marine has now spawned, where did he go? He's over here at the ramp, gonna be chasing away this probe, probe getting away with 4 HP. Uh, and of course this tournament wasn't sponsored by anyone, so there's not much to mention about the sponsors, other than the uh, wonderful folks at uh, the Korean Student Association and the Inter-Asian Council for being able to sponsor the money for this tournament. I believe it was 100 for first, um, 50 for second, and then 25 for third, and fourth place actually doesn't get anything. So there's actually 25 bucks on the line here. Uh, if you lose this game, then your entire tournament time was for naught. And there is a command center coming down for uh, me for the win. And the two marines are out and finishing off that assimilator will allow him to get that assimilator real soon. If he does, does choose so. Uh, the two barracks now lifting off and floating over here. Should be grabbing additional barracks now. Maybe getting the gas sometime soon to help get out some higher tech units other than those marines. There is now out a stalker and a zealot. For Zeri, and he is getting his robotics facility. Gateway also going down robotics before gateway. So it is a one gate robotics build. Uh, there is an SCV out here, will get taken out by the soccer. There it goes down. And the probe also going out to scout himself, wants to give a good map presence. Know exactly what's going on out there. Chrono Boost going down continuously on the probe, so we we're probably going to see quite a long game here. The uh, Cybernetics Core is still researching the warp gates, indicative that he has not spent any Chrono Boosts on this, I believe. I, I did, wasn't uh, careful enough to check that for you, uh, but a bunker coming up for me for the win definitely wants to help defend his early expansion. He's got plenty of marines, the command center should be switching over to a orbital command real soon and there it goes. The double gas is also up, factory is coming up for me for the win. We'll see if he decides to go marine tank or if he decides to do some major switching. Engineering bay also going up at the front, gonna be helping to block off for in case of any foregating action. Uh, me for the win does not know that much about Zeri's base for, so all he for all he could know, it could be a 4-gate coming up, but we don't see any of that business at all. The first observer moving out, making a second observer over here, just in case the Banshees uh, here. His vision is not is also not very large. 
he does know he doesn't know about this command center that is currently just producing SCVs and mules for the main of me for the win. If we take a look at income, it should show the orange player a little bit ahead. Yes, it does. Also a little bit ahead in terms of harvesters, just because he has the second command center. Now Zeri grabbing his natural expansion with this nexus over here. Also throwing down a pylon will allow him to warp in units up at the front of this base. Uh, as you all know, we did start nearly every single uh, set of games with Zelnaga Caverns, so I wonder if these players are f are sick and tired of this map yet, but it will help them to refine these their gameplay on this map. They'll know every single trick by the time they are done with this matchup. Ma these matchups, uh, me for the win, floating out his command center and will be landing it at the natural expansion. Oh, scanning and picking off that observer. Always good to pick off those observers. It does provide crucial information. However, that observer, I do believe, see saw the orbital command floating out. So Zeri does know about me for the win's expansion timing. There is the siege tank coming out. Siege mode is on the way. Second siege tank also in the queue. So it is marine tank. We'll see how many gases he decides to grab at the natural expansion. Both gases going down relatively quickly. So we should be seeing a lot of tech or a lot of tanks here real soon. Uh, Zeri here now getting the uh, Colossus Den. Oh, we'll see it in his base somewhere. I'm just. Uh, there's the Colossus Den over here. Zeri will be headed for those big, heavy-hitting Protoss units, the Colossus, also starting to saturate his natural expansion, grabbing one of the gases, will be gra grabbing the second one soon, also gearing up to take a third base, gonna be killing off these rocks really early to help him secure that back expansion, maybe even trying to move out a little bit to do some damage to those center rocks to help him to take the gold expansion. Me for the win is just bunkering up and hunkering down. We'll be trying to get out additional siege tanks before a push. It's a very scary push that will be coming up. Factory is going down again. We'll be seeing double tank production real soon. Blue Flame Hellions are also going to be out on the field. Starport coming up will allow him to get some medivacs, do some dropping action, or just to heal up the infantry and make them that much more resilient. We see here is Zeri moving out and killing off an SCV that was scouting up the front. The first Colossus is also in the queue. Uh, he should be um, getting out plenty of those before he is able to push. However, me for the win is getting a tech lab on the starport, so I guess he does not know about the Colossus Den. No, he does not. No scans going down. Second Colossus getting queued up in here. Uh, more siege tanks out on the field, also getting a command center. We'll be looking to secure an expansion for himself in the center, throwing up probably a planetary fortress to help defend that, making it very, very hard to break without any Templar or big units like the Colossus. Also, we'll allow them to kill off a lot of Zalons uh, as they charge into that. Zeri getting himself a pylon block there, just a tad. He is going to be throwing down additional pylon in the back to help defend this back expansion. Here comes a floating barracks. We'll be checking out the center area. Continually popping an SCV over here to check out all of the watch towers and make sure no pushes are on their way. There's an unseed shank over here. We'll see when he decides to move out. Probably as soon as this command center finishes up. The double armory going to be uh, churning out those upgrades. You know, if... if we are to be mean to Terran players, you'd force them to go back to the armory to, with each of their mech units to pick up those uh, armor upgrades and pick up those tank uh, damage upgrades. Wouldn't that be mean? There's the destructible rocks going down at the gold expansion for Zeri. He will be take, trying to take his gold expansion real soon. Won't be able to build it ahead of time, just like how Me for the Wind has done here. Should be trying to float out real soon. There is a Raven out in the field. The point defense drone will make those stalkers basically completely useless in one area. So uh, he, Zeri does want to make sure he doesn't get his stalkers caught out of position. He doesn't have that many stalkers out in the field, though. However, I uh, don't think Me for the Wind uh, knows there are those colossus out on the field he might be able to guess it uh, but no vikings out on the field just yet bunch of turrets and bunkers being thrown up in the center supply depot as well to help block off these spaces scv continuing to check all over the place gonna be sieging up the tanks over here and the uh, colossus moving forward gonna be a uh, move back and those rocks are gonna be going down really quickly uh the uh, armory double upgrades going up for uh 
me for the win, and Zeri is going to park by this Zelnaga Watchtower and um, be content to sit back just a little bit. He is setting up a couple of pylons over here and probably looking to throw down that Nexus real soon. Uh, and there goes the Nexus, so both players will be securing their natural exp uh, their gold expansions real soon. And there's the command center lifted, but not quite floating out just yet. Here comes a push from Zeri. He's moving along this side. It does force uh, me for the win to unsiege. And uh, the Colossus on the high ground will be doing some damage to the Sea Shanks. However, the Sea Shanks do force the uh, pushback. Colossus just taking some uh, minor damage to the shields there. Will be able to regenerate that very, really easily. Now Vikings are coming out onto the field to help deal with those Colossi. Uh, just producing them one at a time. There are no reactors on... Uh, the starports for me for the win. He's still got his double armory not quite upgrading right now Protoss is getting ground armor plus one and the Zalots are getting their charge upgrade gonna be moving along this path again Gonna be killing off a couple of Marines and just backing up gonna be forcing me for the wins uh, Siege tanks to just move back and forth to defend this area Planetary fortress is now coming up and Zeri's own, own gold expansion is almost complete here comes the Hellions from the backside, should be trying to do some damage over here. We'll also be scouting to see what they see. Yeah, they see this expansion probably going to be going up soon. There is a pylon back here, so Zeri, if he's paying attention, he'll see all of these Hellions moving in. And here they come into the natural expansion. Let's open the income tab. And they, there go down a ton of probes, 53 right now. We should see that number just plummet down. The two stalkers blocking here. Uh, Zeri also moving over here, frying at these uh, units. 27 harvesters left for Zeri. The stalkers also getting toasted there, losing uh, some uh, shield and some hit points. And the uh, Hellions are going to back out of there. Zeri's uh, slow, immobile force is being dragged around by me for the wins. A faster force over here. And the Hellions all get caught out of position, uh, focusing at that pylon, and finally gonna get backed up over there. Gonna lift them up with the medevac, the harassment will continue warping in additional zealots over here. The Zeri's Colossus force is starting to get larger and larger, there's five Colossus out in the field right now. He's starting to replenish those harvesters, 34 to 71 if he likes to drag out too long. Me for the win will be so far ahead in terms of that harvester count. And here comes the drop with the medevac floating into the main. Uh, so there's not that many probes left in here, so Hellions will be able to kill a couple, but not that many. That is forcing Zeri to bring his army back again. There's a couple of probes over here. Doesn't look like those Hellions did get taken out. Me for the win's uh, medevac is going to get killed off by those stalkers. Is there blink out in the field? No, not quite, so uh, Zeri is just uh, content to park his army out here for now. Me for the win. More tanks just popping out over here. Uh, getting another expansion up. He's feeling really good right now. There's even a floating factory over here. What is up with that? Uh, probably switching over just to get those Vikings out onto the field with that reactor. Barracks continuing to float over here. Me for the win's army size is at 166 to 145. Still pretty even aside from the probe count. Um, well, in terms of army size, Me for the win probably has the larger army. Uh, no, the smaller army because he has that huge worker count. Zeri moving along the backside, gonna be going for some sort of backside attack. There is a supply depot over here watching. Uh, the Colossus are moving along the low ground. Me for the win doesn't have a clue of this. He's got all his sea shanks in the middle. And here come the Colossus on the backside. That uh, supply depot does get wind of that now. We should be seeing all the tanks unsieging and moving back. The Vikings also pulling back to the 